Uh, okay, so I didn't write this up on the board, but the first. Yeah, the first thing we're gonna be doing again is just our handstand walking drills. Um, today we're continuing on with a progression. So for you guys, we're gonna get uh, actually for all you guys, we're gonna get you warmed up, and then we're gonna work a little bit on capacity walking. So we're gonna go um, get you guys warmed up, get your drills in, and then we're gonna go four rounds of a 200 meter jog. And then you guys are gonna come back in and hit a 25 foot handstand walk. So it's gonna be, we're progressing this a little bit more from when you guys were walking and then coming in and doing your 25 feet to a little bit more fatigue and trying to go um, hit your handstand walks with a little bit more fatigue. Cool. Something we talked about last night was um, situational training. Uh, and our Saturdays are going to be really about that. Um, today with our, uh, with our warm up here and with our, or sorry, with our skill work on our handstand and then the capacity thing that we're doing, this can easily be focused on as in you were doing it in a competition and how to manage the fatigue. You're racing people, you're coming back in. When do I need to go so that I can hit this relatively 25 feet unbroken? Um, or, um, sorry, so. That's gonna be our big focus for today is transferring that over into a competition and visualizing that competition. 15 minutes, warm up your guys' shoulders, warm up your guys' overhead positions, warm up your guys' uh, contraction, pulling those hips and rib cage down so that you get your low abs warmed up a little bit. And then we'll all kind of go through some handstand drills and then we'll start the uh, conditioning piece, cool? Sweet. All right, so today guys, what we got going on is some handstand skill stuff. Uh, we're trying to progress people's ability to perform handstand work inside of the sport since that's been um, a pretty big uh, focus from Boz in competition these last two years. Uh, today we've got our third week of a progression. So for most people, they're doing a little bit of a capacity-based testing today um, or a capacity-based skill work today. So we're taking what we've done for the last two weeks and applying it more to a sports specific setting. Um, then our workout today is gonna be a pretty capacity driven. So we have five rounds, 400 meter run, 15 thrusters, 115, 85. Uh, we're gonna try and treat this as much like a competition as possible. We're gonna run outside though versus the runners today. Uh, we're gonna move the bars each time. And this is really just focused on kind of working um, working individuals capacity and ability to just kind of keep that engine going uh, with high heart rate thrusters and making sure they're keeping a good pace on the run so they're not slowing down too much on it so really it's just kind of work out of how bad you want to hurt so and then after that we're gonna hit a little partner workout try and get some fun to finish out the the work week Pretty solid. Um, I think people are definitely improving on their hands. Uh, so we'll just, we're probably gonna keep this going for another um, eight or so weeks and then, uh, or sorry, five weeks now, eight weeks total. Um, and just kind of see where people are at at the end of, end of this. So a little mini cycle inside of our Saturdays here. Okay, so five rounds for time, 400 meter run, 15 thrusters. This is 115 for guys, 85 for women. Remember old school CrossFit, there was a workout called Nancy. It was five rounds for time, 400 meter run, 15 overhead squats. They did an iteration of it at the games back in 2014. This is a classic test for just straight capacity in the sport. Um, how, how much can you hurt? How much can you just push the pedal down throughout the entire workout? You will come off of the thrusters with a high heart rate, but there's not necessarily, you will recover 
as you come around the corner or hit the downhill on the run, okay? So there's not really a reason to slow down on this workout. This thruster weight is a little bit heavier, but all you guys are capable of doing this, this weight, okay? We're gonna start at this line here, and you guys are gonna face the wall, all right? You guys are gonna have to move your barbell each round sideways. I know that's gonna be weird, but they have done that at competitions before. So you guys are gonna have to move your barbell sideways, set it down, and then you go on to your next run. Does that make sense? So the barbell moves, then you run, all right? Move quickly, take advantage of it, but move quickly, all right? So recover as you're kind of moving that barbell and then get out the door and go, okay? That's the big thing on this one is forcing you guys, forcing yourself, telling yourself run fast at the start. You, no matter what you're feeling, just tell yourself to run fast and you recover on this back half. All right, let's go ahead and start setting up the bars, guys. I'm gonna start setting up cones for where you're gonna move your bars um, and then we will get going here. All right, here we go, guys. 10 seconds. So 50, 7,500 deficit handstand push-ups, cow row, synchro, wall balls. While one person works, the other person holds a sandbag, 150, 100. Then you guys will move on to a 75 cal row. While one person works, one person holds a handstand against the wall. Once you guys are done with that, you will move over to synchro wall balls, um, 20 pounds, 14 pounds to a 10 foot target. Uh, pretty solid last workout. Um, we challenged some of these guys with some deficit, um, and then we uh, we held kind of two of our athletes who are a little bit more on that semifinal level to a little bit more of a team semifinal um, athlete. Uh, they did pretty good with it. They still got work on some of their transitions uh, between some of the rowers and just kind of being used to being in pain inside of workouts. Um, but overall, pretty high volume last two days. Um, we got some good training in, so we'll probably give them a little bit, e most of these guys a little bit easier Monday and Tuesday, just kind of ease back into things, let the body recover a little bit, but definitely got fitter this weekend and uh, it was a pretty good session today.